Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be learning about cell specializations and levels of organization. Our learning targets will be to illustrate how the body is a system of interacting subsystems composed of groups of cells. And you'll be able to describe cellular specialization and its necessity to organ system functions. So basically what that means is that we're going to learn that atoms make up molecules, molecules make up cells, cells make up tissues, tissues make up organs, organs make up organ systems, and organ systems make up organisms. That's what we're going to be learning about today. Okay, so a cell. We know what this is. It's the microscopic unit of structure and the function of all living things. All living things are made of cells. An example would be a nerve cell right here. You can see this nerve cell or a blood cell or a white blood cell. This is a red one. There's lots of different examples of cells. The next one is a tissue. So cells, a group of cells come together and they form a tissue. So some examples, so we have lots of cells coming together. They're very similar and they do the same thing. So we would have muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, nerve tissue, connective tissues. And then those tissues come together, groups of tissues layered together. They work together for the same thing and they create organs. So we have lots of different tissues coming together, creating an organ. Some examples of organs would be a heart or a liver. Oops, I went too quickly on that one. Or a brain or even your skin. The next, the organs make up organ systems. So these are a group of organs that work together to perform certain functions. So here's an example of the circulatory system. And we have the organ of the heart and the blood and lungs. It's all part of the cardiovascular system. There's also the nervous system, which includes the brain and the nerves and the spinal cord. And so that's an organ system. And then those organ systems come together to form an organism. And here is some examples, a boy or a tree or a bacteria or a paramecium or a fungus, all good examples. So living things that can carry out life processes are called organisms. And it's the most complex level of an organization. So let's see if you understand what we were talking about. A cell, a tissue, an organ system, or an organism. Here's this picture right here. What do you think this is? Is it a cell? Is it a tissue, an organ, organ system, or organism? And obviously it's a cactus. We're in the desert. And um, it's often found in desert environments. Its um, function is to live and survive in its environment. And the answer is organism. So if you said organism, you were correct on that one. All right, so here's another one. Here is a stomach. The stomach is part of the digestive tract and many animals. You can see the different tissues of the stomach. There's some muscle tissues and all that that make that up. The function is to break down food and to store it later to be absorbed by the intestine. So would this be a cell, a tissue, an organ, an organ system, or an organism? And if you said organ, you are correct. You are doing fantastic. I am so proud of you. All right, now here we have um, the circulatory system in the human body. So here's a heart and blood vessels and veins and blood. Is this a cell, a tissue, an organ, an organ system, or an organism? Um, its function is to transport oxygen and sugar to the cells within the body. So what do you choose? It's a system, or you can say an organ system. So hopefully you got that one right. All right, now here's some pictures right here, and you can see there's kind of many different, see these are nuclei here, and you can see some nu nucleus in there. Okay, so this is, these are various layers of cells found within the human body. There's epithelial, there's nervous, there's muscle, and there's connective. Each of these has its own function. What do you think they are? Is it a cell, a tissue, an organ, an organ system, or an organism? And tissue is correct. So if you said tissue, give yourself a thumbs up, pat on the back. Woo woo. All right, 
So here's our last one here, and we're looking at this. These are found in different types of red and white blood cells are found in the blood. So you can see these are the white blood cells. These are red blood cells. And their function, the red blood cells transport oxygen to other parts of the body, and the white blood cells fight off diseases. So what do you think those are? Is it a cell, tissue, organ, system, or organism? And if you said cells, you are correct. Okay, we're getting down to our last ones. Here's this cute little panda. He's found in China. His function is to live and survive in the wild. What do you think this is? Cell, tissue, organ, organ system, or organism? Did you choose organism? You are correct. Woo woo. Okay, now we have another option here. This is a nerve cell found in our brain. Our nervous tissue is made up of millions of these. The function, the neurons transmit signals to body parts to tell them what to do. So here is one showing here and one showing here. So it's attached here to this muscle tissue, but we're looking at this part. What do you think that is? And it is a cell. Those are neurons. They're nerve cells. Kind of cool looking, aren't they? Okay. And we've got another one. If you look at this, it's found all over our body. Um, the muscles help us to move, pump blood, and support our skeleton. And if you said this was tissue, you are correct. I think this is going to be one of our, we're getting to the end here. Right here you can see this is what's called a paramecium, and they're often found in pond water. Now this one's going to be difficult because it's a little bit, its function is to live and survive in its environment. So what do you think that is? Is it a cell, a tissue, an organ, a system, or an organism? It's actually an organism, even though it's one cell. It's called a unicellular organism, and that belongs to the protist kingdom. So, okay, we have another one. What do you think this brain is? Do you think it's an organ? Yep, that's correct. And here we've got a, di a dissection of the stem of a plant. This is a corn plant. It sends water up and down the plant. It is tissue. And our last one here is a leaf. What do we think that is? Now that's going to be kind of confusing. The maple leaf is found on the branches of the maple tree, many made of many layers of various tissues. Maple leaves are vital in using energy from the sunlight to make food or photosynthesis. So it's made up of tissues. So what do you think it's going to be? Yep, it's an organ. All right, well done. Hopefully you were successful and go ahead and take the quiz or the quick check rather on Schoology just to see how you did and have the most wonderful day.